is Reza. I'm licensed here in Canada to handle immigration. And we're going to cover the top three visa secrets for Canadian applications, right? So you do apply for your study permit, work permit, or visitor visa. There's a few things that you need to know. So let's start with number one. A lot of the times the officers don't even look at your application. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a, that's a reality. They don't, they, if you guys think, if everybody out there thinks that, hey, they're gonna read through every single line that I submit with supporting documents, applications, letters, you're seriously wrong. For regular visas, study permits, work permits, they don't put the time in, especially high volume embassies and high refusal regions. So keep that in mind. When you're applying, especially from high refusal regions, they may not even look at it too much. Okay, second, they're using artificial intelligence in certain embassies and regions to process your visas, right? And load balancing. What does that mean? A human is not, not, I'm not looking at every application. A computer system using optical character recognition is actually going to be looking at specific keywords on your application forms specifically and cross-checking against your previous history with Canadian or US or whatever immigration and all your refusals, right? If you've been refused a couple of times, the AI is just going to suggest. So it's a computer assisted human decision making model right so the computer is going to give you a rating and be like you know this is probably a, not a good case the human will take a look and be like yeah you're right it's a refusal secret number three secret number three is the canadian government especially the immigration department does not want you to take your case to court why okay so this is a letter from one of our for one of our clients which we applied right what's happened their study permit was refused and it was trivial refusal. The person already had a Canadian visa or did at one point and the study permit was refused. Why? Because they're coming from a high refusal region. The Canadian government does not want to take this to federal court if they know you, they're going to lose the case because this information will become public and it will set, the, set a precedent. They don't want that. So if you have a strong case and you're being refused a visa, a study permit, work permit, whatever, then you can take it to the Department of Justice, ap apply for an appeal, a judicial review, and they will come and negotiate with you. They will not let it go to federal court. So the ones they know that they will lose because going back to number one, what we mentioned today, Sometimes officers, a lot of the times, they don't look at the damn applications. They're not looking at them in a lot of the high refusal regions, right? They know that here. So when you do an appeal, they know, oh, okay, 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 we're ready to negotiate, right? And this is the letter you'll receive. We're ready to remove the refusal, have an officer actually look at it and a senior officer will look at it. And this time a human will actually look at it, not AI, not some stupid other system, right? Some random system. So that was secret number three, folks. So that was, that was the three secrets, okay? Remember to like this video and connect with us through our social media, especially our YouTube and our website to get receive a free assessment.